What's up guys? My name is Gabe here at the world famous Lulu's Body Piercing. I'm here to tell you guys about why piercings smell. Do you smell it? And before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so that you know every single time that we post. Other than that, leave a good thumbs up and let's get started with the video. All right, so the first thing that you guys are gonna do is make sure that it's not infected or otherwise irritated. Because most of the time that you'll look at it, if it is bumping and stuff like that, it actually does smell really bad. But you honestly don't really notice until like you kind of get into it. But for the most part, to prevent stuff like that, just be sure that you're maintaining it properly, cleaning it up good, um, and then just contact your local piercer if you have any other questions. So another thing that can actually cause the smelling is our natural scents. So our body's oils and secretion, our sebum and stuff like that, when it gets built up, all our sweat, when it gets built up in areas, I point at this one in particular just because this one does tend to smell the most. So if you ever turn it a little bit and it has like a nice little white coat on it, sometimes that's because of the fact that it's just because it's been sitting there and it's been piling up completely and you haven't washed it in a while. So a way to, like, to not do that would be to wash it constantly, clean it up. Um, usually what I do is every two weeks, I'll actually take mine out and then clean them up really good, like deep clean them, deep clean them. Good. So let's go over how to prevent it. So as far as prevention goes, when it comes to certain things like actually keeping them clean and maintaining them, just make sure that your patient's already healed first of all, because if it's not healed, I don't recommend you taking them out. Um, but definitely remove it, clean it up as well as you can, Get in, like clean up the post as best you can, because the post is the part that actually smells the most. The top, not really, the top will just get dull and stuff like that, but as far as it goes, just be sure that you are properly cleaning them. Like what I'll do sometimes is I'll actually get most of my jewelry, take them all off, and then pop them in the ultrasonic just to get a nice little deep clean, and then maybe the autoclave every now and then. But definitely make sure that they're all wiped down nice and good. There's no kind of coat on them, nothing white or anything like that. And then you can actually start to smell when they like get smelly again. So that's another good thing about cleaning them constantly. All right, so next, if your piercing smells before it heals, definitely do not remove it. Just keep it in there. Um, what I did for that when it actually did start to smell a little bit was I actually just grabbed the piece on the top and then just started scrubbing it with a Q-tip. It actually is one of the easiest ways to do it, especially while you're like in the process of healing it itself. Like let's say you had your septum for three months and it has like a weird funky smell to it. Just grab one of the ends, turn it a little bit and then start scrubbing with the with like some saline on a Q-tip. That actually will help it out a lot. And then you just turn it the other way, do the same thing, scrub it, scrub it, scrub it. And then from there, it should be less smelling. Um, at most, just be sure that you aren't like over cleaning it either um, during those. This is mainly just so you can keep them from smelling too bad, not like a proper cleaning tutorial. So as far as it goes, if your piercings do become infected by any means necessary or just by anything, um, be sure to actually see what the problem is first before you like do anything analyze it make sure it's like an actual infection irritation and stuff like that um but that will definitely make it smell a lot so an easy way to kind of like per not prevent it but like stop it is by cleaning around it as best you can um if the piercing is sinking in there make sure that you give it room to clean it but um definitely i noticed that soap antibacterial soap and water will actually do it it may be harsh for some of you but that will actually help a lot um other than that if you guys want to stick to your saline washes then stick to your saline washes but definitely if the more you upkeep with them the more you maintain them the less they actually smell so as long as you guys follow all these guidelines that we've just uh, shown to you uh, you should actually have a lot greater time with either less smelling piercings, less infected piercings, stuff like that. We're not saying it's a guarantee, but it actually does help in personal and, you know, other people's opinions and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit that notification button, that little bell or whatever, wherever it's at. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>